Hey guys, how hey. are you? Hi. I was driving by, saw the lights on, so I figured I'd stop in. Brendan, yeah. how are you? Not bad. How are you? Good practice today. Thank you. Yeah. Good, good coaching. Thank you, Paul. I just I'm starting to visit the kids at night now more. Hey, coach, you parked on the lawn. Do you realize that? I thought that was a driveway. No, that's the lawn. Oh. Um. Actually, the real reason I came, Paula, was uh, I got to ask you a favor. Uh huh. My sister is coming into town, right? Friday night. Uh huh. It's just a layover. She's at the airport. So um, I would appreciate it if you come to the airport with me to uh, say hi to her while she's waiting for her connecting flight. I don't think I know your sister, John. No, well, that doesn't matter, Paula. You don't have to know her to say hi to her. But why would I go with you to the airport and say hi to your sister who I've never known? Well, all the other moms said no. You know, so this is kind of a last-ditch effort before I have to hire an escort. You need an escort? I wanted you to pretend you were my fiancé, you know, so John, she wouldn't worry. You know, John, I would, if we weren't going to the movies, I would... Uh, no, we're not going to the movies. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Paul. My sister's a lot different than me, all right? I'm freewheeling. You know, I'm in for a good time. My uh-huh. sister's a little more conservative. She's very religious. Uh-huh. So she worries about me a lot because uh-huh. I don't live like her. Uh-huh. I, you know, I live a little loose. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's good for me because I like loose. All right? Yeah. We go around once, Paula. Okay. On this crazy planet. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you out, Chad. Paula, listen. It's only two hours, uh-huh. right? We'll go out to the airport. Uh-huh. I'll introduce you to my sister. I'll say, Donna. That's my sister's name. Uh-huh. I'll say, Donna, this is my uh, fiance, Paula. What? What? Your what? My fiance. That's what I was thinking. We, you would be my fiance. You want to introduce me as your fiance? Yeah. Yeah. Then my sister will be very proud of me. I met somebody. So this is a ruse. It's a what? A ruse. It's a ruse. It's a ruse. Oh, it's a ruse. It's a ruse. What's wrong with you? It's a ruse. <laughs> Even I know that. She meant ruse. Brendan knew it. You know it's late, John. Paula. I'm not taking Paula. part in your charade, okay? Oh, come Forget on, it. Mom. Look. Brendan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Paula, am I smarter than you? I knew, no, I knew, you've just. I knew been, that word. I'm sleep deprived now. All right, I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm just saying this has never happened to me before. This is the first time he's been smart. Okay, <laughs> Paula, because no. Brendan is smart. He is smart. Yeah. It's just weird how it happens. Sometimes dumb people have smart kids. I'll just. Um, <sighs> Paula, come with me to the airport. You know. Uh, you can bring Brendan. Yeah. We're no. dating, and yeah. I'm like his you know father, Brendan, and he loves me. Yeah. This is getting out of hand. Paula, I, this is good. Yeah. Brendan, hop on. All right. Look at this, Paula. Yeah. Huh? Now, Paula, get over here. Let me put my arm around you. Now, look in the mirror. No. Somebody take no. a picture, because this is the happiest no. family I've ever seen. We got some nasty weather uh, heading our way. You might want to exercise a little caution over the next couple of days. And I hate that guy. This is your g g g g goofy weather, man. I like that part, though. Hey, Coach, while I'm up here, let's do the you're the dummy thing. All right. Ready? Yep. You're the dummy. No, you're the dummy. No, you're the dummy. You're the dummy. No, you're the dummy. I said you're the dummy. No, you're the dummy. <laughs> no, you're actually the dummy. No, you really, really, really are the dummy. All right, I'm the... Wait a minute. Good night. Mr. Peelberger, mm-hmm. is it true that this movie's the first installment of what will be a six-part trilogy? Yes. Yes, it is. Huh. Mr. Peelberger, mm-hmm. did you know you were going to make movie history? You know... That's a good question. Um, nobody really ever knows if they're going to make movie history, but I wanted to make sure that I did. So that's why I changed the name of this movie, which was originally entitled Planet Battles, to Movie History. So when anybody asked me what I was working on, I would say, I'm making movie history. And you did. And I did. You made a film called Movie History. Well, let's just say I made movie history. Say it. Say it. You're making movie history. I'm making movie history. So, Stan, what was it like working on movie history with an all-star cast and an all-star director? It was actually an amazing experience, one that I will never forget and always remember. What was it like to work with Julie Bob? Uh, it was great. Uh-huh. Which, which one is she again? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anything going on between you two that we should know about? Well, we're having sex. That's terrific. Are you signed on to do the prequel? You're doing a prequel? Brendan, this is stupid. Cut. Sorry. Cut. Brendan? Yeah? This is stupid. No, it's not. I think it is. I'm doing a good job. Uh, It's not that you're not doing a good job. I just think the concept is stupid. Oh, who cares about the concept when I'm doing a good job? Melissa, don't... I guess if it's not about you, Melissa, then it's not... That's not true. I'm thinking about the whole movie. All right, well, why don't we do this? Jason, you take five. Melissa, we'll do your scene. Okay. Hi, Mr. Fieldsmore. It's Paula Small. How are you? My secretary said this was an emergency. Oh, it is, Marty. It is. See, I've been working on a book for about eight years now. You're a slow reader. 
That's funny. Thank you. I should clarify and say I've been writing a book for eight years, and I think it's ready. I'd love for you to read it. I mean, you haven't read anything of mine in, what, probably 10 years? Who is this? Paula Small. I know that, but who the hell is Paula Small? You represented me when I wrote a couple of articles for Out of Ink magazine. Anyway, after that, I got married, and I had a couple kids Uh, and uh, taught mm, creative writing. mm. And in all that time, I have never stopped working on my novel. Well, I admire your perseverance, Paula, but that's about it. And just for the record, I have never talked to you before in my life. What? You dealt with my father. Oh, I didn't know he had a son. Yeah, he didn't tell a lot of people. Oh, well, can I speak with your father then? Not right now. He's dead. Julian, your career has taken quite a turn. Oh, my gosh, yeah, lots of turns and curves, too. You now command the highest fee of any actress in the history of actresses and to what do you attribute your success? They're called boobs, Pat. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't Simon Peelberger's first choice for the role of Lucy. No, I wasn't. Were you? I wasn't. You've no, done you your weren't. research. Yes, I have. They're on these little blue cards. <laughs> mm. uh, Brenda, Brenda, um, this is stupid. Oh, now that I'm doing it, it's stupid? Yeah. When you yeah. did it, it wasn't stupid, but well, now it's stupid. Well, no, the difference is I was doing a decent job. According to you. Well, you're also playing a fairly stereotypical Jason, character. Jason, stop looking at my fake boobs. I can't. I can't. I can't move my eyes. So that's basically it. It's a story of sex, murder, extortion, revenge, blackmail, and sex. What do you think? Send me your draft and I'll read it. Oh, great. This is great. But let let me just touch it up a bit. Paula, I'm going on vacation for four weeks, so I'll read it when I come back. Oh, no, 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 no. I have waited so long. Please take it with you on vacation and read it, please. Okay, but I'm leaving tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. I'll get it to you. I just want to punch it up a little bit. Okay, okay. Just just get it over here by 6 o'clock, Don't worry. I'll drop it off myself. I'm not worried, Paula. It doesn't make any difference to me one way or another. Well, uh... Paula! Yeah? I'm hanging up. Okay, well, I'll bring it... Oh. Bye. Brendan, what's wrong with your mom? Why would she pose as my girlfriend? She's, huh? she's not really into going out. Who wants to sign our petition? Yeah, who wants to sign our petition? Yeah. What's it for? Because they're cutting down the old elm tree in the town center. Oh. And we want to save it. Yay, Dude, save yay. it, save it. The tree is an eyesore. It's... Good, good riddance. Get rid of trees. Isn't it like old and dying? Yeah. Why do you guys want to save it anyway? Because, because that, that tree, tree has been there a long time, and we want future generations to enjoy it too. Also, and everybody, we peed on it one time. Perry, don't tell them that. I mean, we never pee on it. No, we didn't pee on it. All we need is ten thousand signatures by today at six o'clock, and they won't cut the tree down. Yay! Yay! Ten thousand—that's a lot. How many signatures do you guys have? We have, um, 670. But you guys, all those names are yours. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to get other people to sign it. No, you're not. um, You can't just have 400 Walters and 400 Perrys. Yes, as long as they're signatures. signatures. I don't think that's how it works. Yes, that's that's what they say. People are supposed to be different people. Why don't you guys just finish signing them, then? Why do you need us to sign them? Because... My hand hurts. Mine does, too. <clears throat> hey, Coach, it looks like we got some time here. Do you want to be in my mockumentary? No. It's like a fake documentary. No, I know what a mockumentary is, Brendan. Yeah. I don't want to be in it. All right? All right. Can I give you a script? No. Well, let's give him a script. All right, here's the script, Coach. You're playing an actor who gets killed in the first minute of the movie. Hey, Brendan, I said I wasn't doing it. Just tell, do tell, it. tell him what the name of the movie is. It's yeah. called Movie History. So what's it about, the history of movies or something? No, that's a joke title. The idea is that the director changed the name from Planet Battles to Movie History so he can say he's making movie history. No, oh. well, I don't like joke titles. Yeah, me neither. So I'm interviewing you, and your name is Brad Batman, okay? Melissa, roll it. Brendan, I'm not doing it. Action. So, Brad, you get killed Brendan, 40 minutes. Brendan, turn your camera off. So, Brad, Should I get... turn the camera off? No, no, turn you, the you, camera off. So, Brad, you get killed 40 seconds into the movie. Did that bother you? Coach, you're Brad. Yeah, you're Brad. It's really How long are you gonna do this, Brendan? It's really, hmm? it's a real short scene. If you just start with no. Just start with no. Well, I mean, everybody. And action. So, Brad, you get killed forty seconds in the movie. Did that bother you? Brendan, tell me why should I do this? Hmm? Because <clears throat> you look good on. You look good. Well, what's in it for me? Copy. Hmm? It's copy for your demo reel. Helping out kids. Helping out kids. Um. What if Brendan, you uh, get your mom to come with me on Friday night to meet my sister, and then I'll do your movie part. The, okay. How about this, Coach? Yeah. I what? will try as hard as I can to talk to my mother to get her to go with you to the airport. If I do this part. If you do the part. All right. So, Brad, 
You get killed 40 seconds in the movie. Is Wait, so who am I here? Brad. Which one is that? Brad Badman. All right, now what, what am I doing? Why, why? There are words underneath each time it says Brad. Right. Just read those words. Let's change my name. How about that? We can't really do that because we make references to it. So, so what? Just change it. I'll just say my name's Jeff. But tell him the last name, Brendan. It's Brad Badman. No, it's, it's Jeff Schwartz. Okay. So, Jeff, you get killed 40 seconds in the movie. Did that bother you? It's on the script. Where? We're on page it says, 17. It's where it says Brad. Oh, right, right, right. Well, let's change it to Jeff so I know what I'm reading here. All right, I'll mark it off. Know. Melissa, give me a pen. Let's here. Can you get the man a pen, please? Here. All right, mark it up. All right, good. All right. Uh, okay. So go ahead. All right. So and j- action. So, Brad. Jeff. Uh, can I see the pen? Here. Thank you. Take two. So, Jeff, you get killed 40 seconds in the movie. Did that bother you? No. Well, I mean, everybody wants to be in a movie for more than 40 seconds, but when you think about with the shortest span- tension spans, today, today 40 seconds is um, a long time. Brad, did you... Melissa, kn- give me the pen. I forgot to change one. Brad. You know what? It's starting to rain. Why don't we just cut? That's a wrap. Well, I'm not done yet. I still got a couple more lines, yeah, I think right? we're all set. Yeah, what do you want? Perry? She's hideous. What are you mumbling about? Nothing. 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 Well, what do you want? <gasps> tell her, Walter. Speak up. Let's both tell her. Okay. Miss, what? would you like, like to sign a petition to keep the big elm tree? No. Rude. Paula, there's a compromise, all right? I take a few pictures. I'll show my sister. She'll smile. Everybody's happy. No harm done. You don't leave your house. You, 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 look, I, I gotta get this done, all right? I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. Look, Paula, just say yes, and I'll stop bothering yeah, you about it. I'm busy here. Brendan, tell your mom what I did for you today. You bought me a cup of coffee. Good. No, no, I'm talking about the movie thing. Brendan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, coach helped me with the movie today. Oh, yeah, you, see? I he helped, helped your me son. out, okay, Mom? Okay, fine, fine. You win. I'll do it, all right? All right, great. That's all I need. This is great. All right, okay, how about this, coach? Go over by, by my mom. All right. Just, just lean in a little Paula, bit. Oh, do you guys, mind? Yeah, yeah okay. How, looks like, just take it. Okay, now okay. smile. You guys look so stiff. You look like a couple of hot dogs. All right, I'll put my put arm Okay, how's that? Okay, okay, a little bit closer. I'm sorry. This, right. this looks terrible. Okay, I, I'm sorry, uh, but I thought this was going to take a lot less time than okay, it's taking. Okay, just, 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 okay. Just, you want one okay, natural here, picture. There, looks like there, a, there we go. natural. But, just Mom, take it, Brendan. Okay, ready? And right. there we go. Now be goofy with each other, all right? Be like, you know, hey, we have a lot okay. of fun. Yeah, like, that's a good yeah, idea, like, Brendan. Really, like, pretend like we're happy. Act like you just told a joke and something's really funny. Yeah, okay. or you know what's... <laughs> okay, I good, wasn't thanks. laughing, Brendan. Okay, okay well, that was good. That well, was, that was actually, good that one was no. not fair. Look at this. Well, because that one looks like she's laughing at me. Um, okay, how about this? Mom, I hate to do this to you. Uh-huh. You're sitting on Coach's lap. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, just, just sitting on like, you know, like, here we are. Yeah, so hop here we up are. here. Paula. Just real quick? Uh-huh. Really natural? Yeah. Got it. Let me see. All right, Paula, so you'll be back in time for me to go to the airport, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to be like an hour. Because that's a necessity. Right, right? no, I, I know. got to get there. Brendan, be good. Oh, mother. Jason and Melissa, do what Coach McGurk tells you to do. Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Small. Bye, my precious. Bye, my precious. The storm looks pretty bad. Everyone better be prepared. The storm looks like it's going to hit us hard. Brendan. What? Hold on to your sister, will you? No way. I don't, t- I don't take care of that. What do you mean, no way? It's not my bag. I-, I can't. I don't know how to hold a baby. Neither do I. Well, we got trouble, then. Well, it's not my job. You're the one that said that you would do this, not me. Does she have a pen or something? She's got a little cage, I think. You know what? I got an idea. What? Get me some rope. All right. I'll tie her to the couch. Directing a movie isn't just about yelling action or cut. Sometimes I yelled, good morning, or good night, depending on the time of day. That's what, next question. Nah. What? No. No, but Brendan, uh, Melissa and I were talking. Okay. Yeah, we think this mockumentary is a crockumentary. <laughs> I gave her that one. We want to do something else. Um, cut. What are you guys talking about? We'd rather be making the movie we're mocking in the mockumentary movie. We just think that the actual movie we're doing now about the mockumentary 
isn't as good as the movie we're mocking. Do you know what I mean? I think what she's saying is we'd rather be making the movie that we're making with the mockumentary movie. Movie right. instead of the movie we're making. Exactly. Uh, right, right, right. You guys would be rather mocking the movie that we're making the mockumentary than mocking the movie that we're making right now, which is the mockumentary movie. Exactly. Uh, or would you be rather mocking the mockumentary movie and making that movie or making the inside mockumentary movie of the mockumentary? No, that we'd movie. we'd rather no. not be mocking be... in a mockumentary, but oh, okay. make the movie that we're mocking in the mockumentary. So you'd rather make the movie you're mocking in the mockumentary rather than the movie that you're making is no, a, that is a mockumentary. We'd rather make the making of the mock mocking the mockumentary movie. I'm getting two stories from you guys. He's saying he wants to make a mockumentary of the making of the mockumentary movie that no. is about the other th- what? That's not what he I'm means. I'm saying I want to make it the making of No, Jason, that's not what we talked about. That's what I want to do. Well, I pitched Melissa, that. Right? You guys, you guys nixed that a long time ago. The making of a mockumentary of a mockumentary movie that has a movie inside of it, right? All which I'm is s- essentially which is a essentially mockumentary. A mockumentary. mockumentary. A mockumentary. A mockumentary. Correct. Yes. All I'm saying is, I want to make movie history. <sighs> Boring. How did this happen? Oh, don't, Josie, don't be afraid of the thunder. Don't, please, don't cry. There's nothing bad about thunder. It's just a noise. Lightning is what kills you. Like. Thousands of people every year die from getting hit by lightning. Or, um, what else can kill you? Um, sometimes food can kill you. Raw pork. Attention, this is an actual emergency. A tornado warning is in effect right now. This is a tornado alert. Get to a shelter or a basement immediately. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do we do? Brendan? Melissa? Yeah. Jason? Yeah? Yeah. Is that his name? Mm-hmm. A tornado's coming. Coach, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. Wait, Coach, is tornadoes really coming? Yeah, that's what the radio said. There's a tornado coming. So I'm going to stay down here with the baby. You guys go upstairs and play. Shouldn't we stay down here with you? No. It's not safe for everybody to be in the same place during a tornado, Melissa. But I thought you're supposed to go to No, low. the rule is, Melissa, you separate. Are you sure? Yeah. You get sucked into the funnel and everyone's separated. It's just like a fun ride. But if you're all in a group, in a cluster, you start banging into each other, and then your heads collide, and you die. Wow. Oh, my God, i got to check out my sister's flight. Um, What's the matter, Coach? Her flight's been rerouted. I'm not going to see her after all. Sorry. Sorry. All that work, all those pictures, and then a tornado comes in and ruins it. Sorry, Coach. Oh, well, what are you going to do? It was probably better anyway. You have to have a death wish to drive in this weather. I mean, it's a tornado. That's like suicide. Coach? Yeah? Oh, man. Brendan. Yeah. Sorry about your mom. Uh-huh. I'm sure she's fine. She took driver's ed, right? Who the hell am I? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, take a breath. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, relax, relax, relax. Oh, my God, what time is it? No! Oh! I think you're really getting carried away, Coach. Uh, so you took it personally, Brendan. No, I didn't. It's nothing against you, Brendan. I know. I'm just saying, if we have to start eating each other, I'm going to go for Jason first. Right. Then you. All right. Then Melissa. Okay. Then the baby. Finally. Here, hold her for a minute. What was that all about, Jason? You were on the phone for like 20 minutes. Well, I told my mom I was at your house, Brendan. She said, Brendan, who? So I had to tell her who you were that we're best friends, that we make movies. And then she asked me what kind of movies. And I said, like, I don't know, little fun movies, like real movies, but shorter. And then she said, like, what? And I then I explained a couple of the movies we made. And then I told her about the one we're making now, the mockumentary. Right. And she, then she said, oh, I like mockumentaries, like Spinal Tap. And I said, I don't know what that is. Jason, you never told her about me? No. What about me? No. Somebody. A tornado can drive a three-inch nail into a tree, all right? So it hammers a nail into a tree. Well, it would, that is a big deal. I don't see why it's such a big deal. Could you hammer a nail into a tree by just blowing on it? No. That's what a tornado does. It blows on a nail, and the nail goes into the tree. Still don't think it's a big deal. Why? What do you mean, why? Why would, why would it... it just put nails in trees? Yeah. What's the point? To mark them. You mean, like, so I can hang a little sign on it? Oh, the police, thank God. Would you like to sign a petition to save the big elm tree? Yeah. Walter, Perry, what are you doing out in this weather? Get in here. No, because we only need four more signatures to save the big elm tree. Get in the car. But we need to save the tree. Perry? Yeah? Was that the elm tree? Yeah. Huh. 
Okay, so who's in favor of dropping the mockumentary? Okay. Who's in favor of doing the mockumentary? Okay, good. Now we're getting somewhere. You see, I'm, I'm taking out all that stuff about the murder and the sex, and I'm making it into a children's book. All right. It's going to be about a sparrow and a cockroach who get lost during a storm and end up going on this wild adventure together. Sounds trite. It sounds like that's been done before. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't lame. Think... Yeah, double lame-o. Lame. Double lame-o donkey d- right. Sucking on the witch's d- <laughs> <laughs> The storm is past, I repeat. The storm is over. It's safe to come out of your shelters. Yay! Yay! Wait. Could be a trick. Paula, you should write a story about when me and Perry grow up. And we're men. We're men. Men. Well, I'll think about that one. And call it having fun with Walter and Perry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a that's um that's a good idea. I think I'll I'll stick with the sparrow no. and the cockroach. No, now. write it about Perry and I. Yeah. Write it about no, Perry. No, maybe and I'll I. write that in my next one. No. No. I think there write was... a book about Walter and okay, Perry. Okay, okay, I'll write a little book write about Walter. Write a just... book about Perry and no, I. We, we... No. No. You know what? No. Oh my god, am I glad to see you. The police are here, kids! The police are here! So I'm so glad I never made it to Mr. Fieldmore's office. You might say that storm saved my life. My literary life. Wow. John, thanks for being here with the kids. I mean, they must have been so glad you were here. Are you alright? Yeah, what are we wrapping up? So when movie history opened with the biggest box office draw in movie history, we knew that we had made movie history with movie history. And now, I'd like to say something to all the young directors out there. If you want to make movie history, just make sure you own the camera. Cut, cut and print, perfect. Thank you. You should make a movie about Perry and I. Yeah. Well, uh... Make a movie about Perry and I. Well, yeah. I mean, like... Make it, make, make it! Make a movie about 